everyone, Christine Smith here with Infinity of Tacoma and Fife, and today I'm going to show you just briefly how to connect your streaming audio, um, your, your iPod to your streaming audio on a 2011 QX56. So first what you want to do is you want to come to your dash where it says settings, and we'll press the setting button, and from there you want to go into your Bluetooth, and we're going to select connect Bluetooth. And it says, are you connecting to Bluetooth device um, with your hands-free phone? And actually, we're going to say no, even though we are using my iPhone 4, because we don't want it to just connect to the Bluetooth phone. We want it to connect to the iPod portion. So it's asking me to submit um, a pass key. And for now, I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I need to come over to my phone, and it's different on each phone, but today, since we're using an iPhone 4, um, we're going to go to whatever portion of your phone will show you where your Bluetooth setting is. And on the iPhone 4, it's under the settings, and under general, and then under Bluetooth. And it's looking for the device, and you can see it pulled up my car, so we'll select that. And it's asking me to enter in the same pin that I did before. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to say pair. And it has now connected. So you can hear the music playing. If the music isn't playing for whatever reason, maybe you're not in the right portion of the dash to be playing your, your iPod settings. So if you look down here on the dash, the disc auxiliary button will select you from Bluetooth audio to auxiliary to CD to your music box and back to the Bluetooth. From there you can select play or pause. If you'd like to be able to um, if you'd like to be able to see exactly what song you're choosing on the screen within your iPod, you can connect your phone with a full USB cord, and that'll allow you to look at exactly what track and what portion of your iPod you're playing. So that's it for today. Thanks.